Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about the regression testing techniques. I have provided three important regression testing technique which you can adopt when you are performing regression testing in your project. So let's go by one by one to understand what are those three important testing techniques which can be adaptable for regression performing regression testing. The one is complete regression. So in this tec techniques we try to run if you have 500 test cases we are going to run all 500 test cases. This is one technique we adopt. So normally this kind of technique we adopt when there is a major changes to the code. When there is a major update to the functionality or when there is a major changes to the code that is where we should choose to run complete regression. This is that's why for the first technique here is you should pick the complete regression when there is a major changes to the code. That is where you should define clearly when to use complete regression. The second important technique here is selective regression test cases. Here we only concentrated on only failed changes as I was uh, only affected changes. Basically what we have to do is work with the development team and look on which all the area the code has been updated. When there is a code has been updated then appropriate requirements we should look into that and appropriate test cases we should map to those requirements and pick those regression test cases to run the test. In this way we are selecting the regression test cases only relevant to the changes to the code which has been done and only the relevant test cases would be executed. So that is the second technique will be used to run the regression testing. Then the third important technique will be used in the regression testing here is based on the failure rate. Say a given feature is been failing very frequently then you should pick those kind of test cases very often because it, it there are chances that the particular developer particular architecture is getting changed are getting uh, are due to the complexity the failure rate is very high reason for failure rate can be many right so we should identify assess which area getting more failures then we'll have to prioritize the test case appropriately and also we should look on to the business impact if the certain functionality would stop working there is a huge business impact then we should prioritize the test cases based on the business impact as well and the more frequently used functional the more frequently used functionality also you should look into when you are identifying or when you are prioritizing the test cases just to recap there are three important testing technique will be used for performing regression testing one is complete regression testing where everything will get uh, run due to there is a bigger change in the code or change in the technology that is the time when we run complete regression. The second uh, technique here is we will be running only area which is getting impacted when there is a change in the code only we are limiting our regression testing only to the changes made to the code that is the second. The third important thing here is test cases prioritized based on the failure rate that would give the history from our previous runs and there is a business impact on the certain functionality frequently used features that also needs to be running regularly as part of our regression testing. I hope uh, you completely get hold of the three types of regression testing techniques. If you enjoyed watching this video then please click on like button and if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time then please click on subscribe button so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help to enhance your software testing skills. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.